Hi, I am Katie at KK Designs and I'm here in my workroom in Rockwall, Texas and I'm going to be showing you a really easy way to make your own magnolia wreath. Now we're going to start off with a grapevine wreath, which you can get at most craft stores pretty inexpensively, and then we're going to be salvaging from a magnolia garland. Now they have a lot of pre-made wreaths out there which are lovely, but I find the leaves and flowers aren't always exactly where I want them. So I'm going to show you just a super easy way to make your own arrangement that you will be very happy with. Okay, starting with the garland, you're going to want to cut off the leaves and stems. Now you don't want to cut off, pull off the leaves individually because you want to leave as much stem as possible to be able to tuck it into the wreath. Now you can see that once I've got them all clipped off, I've discarded the main vine and I have them sorted kind of into smaller leaf groups, medium to large leaf groups, and then the leaf groupings that include the blossoms, the flowers, of course. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dry set these onto my wreath in the way I want it. Now I'm gonna start with my flowers because they're the key, obviously the most attractive part, and I wanna place those evenly and then we'll fill in the gaps with the medium leaves and the small leaves. Now I've got them dry set and they're just kind of loose right now. I'm going to go back and secure them with the glue gun and kind of fluff and arrange and twist. Well, there you have it. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Gave it a good shake to make sure none of the leaves were loose. So we got those all glued in and solid. And as you can see, I chose to focus my magnolia blossoms on one corner and tapered out to the rest. I like my little asymmetrical. You could spread yours out a little bit more, whatever you like. When it's angled like this, you can turn it whichever way you like to put the weight of the blossoms. I usually prefer bottom left. Thank you for joining me for this little fun how-to craft with KK Designs.